Proverbs uh, 1 and uh, 29, perhaps that was sinner, um, he said, uh, but uh, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would not on my counsel. They despised all my reproof. So there's a very serious condition here. That here is a body of people that they 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 have gone into captivity because they didn't have the proper knowledge. But then this group here hates knowledge. Now I can't. I'm not very good at equating myself with that. Because I hunger after knowledge. I wish I had all the time in the world to acquire knowledge. I love being able to sit and let somebody who knows something I don't know yes. tell me, instruct me. I could spend hours listening to someone that isn't a trade or a skill <coughs> or a background or a vocation. And I was never there, and I don't know it. I, but I, I could spend hours listening to them tell me about what they know that I don't know because I don't despise knowledge. I don't hate knowledge. But there are people that do. And the way you can tell they do is you begin to try to give them knowledge and you feel resentment and you feel that they feel you're intimidating them. Uh, that you are taking advantage of them, that you are trying to be a smart aleck, a know-it-all, you know, and they don't, they don't want you to do that. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever met people like that, but I've met people. I know people I, I'm, in my lifetime that absolutely hated knowledge. And I would try to teach them something about God's Word. I've, I've spoken to congregations that I felt that there was not enough people in that congregation that wanted me to get into a deep area of teaching or go down below the surface level with them in speaking. <coughs> but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't go there because I felt like that there wasn't a sufficient drawing and pulling in that congregation for me to speak to them on a level I would have liked to have talked to them about. So I just gave them trivials. I just spoke to them about trivials. And trivials is just speech without any content to it, without any depth to it. Trivials. A comedian only deals in trivials. A comedian cannot feed your intellect. A comedian cannot, uh, he may make you laugh, but he cannot feed your sensory perception. He can't give you understanding. Um, he just tickles the fancy. But you're no better or you're no worse when he's through, except your humor. And we all need, of course, a certain amount of laughter, so we appreciate that. But as far as perception of knowledge, and that's where Jesus had a problem with the people of his day. Sunday I started a series of lessons that I hope to finish. I actually started it Saturday night on the word appetite and the way that you feed and why you feed like you do, why you want certain things you do to satisfy your appetite. And uh, then Sunday, I asked the three questions uh, to consider. The three mysteries of the Bible. The mystery of, of the kingdom of heaven, the mystery of godliness, and the, and the mystery of Babylon. Three mysteries in the scripture. And the word mystery means something not known, not understand, not discerned. Anything not discerned, not known, 
not understand, not understood, is a mystery. It's only a mystery uh, because it's not understood. Not known. There's only one, uh, there's only, yes, one, because Christ is subject to him. There's only one being that there are no mysteries to. Nothing unfathomable, nothing without knowledge, and that's God. God is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. He's all knowledge, he's all powerful, and he is everywhere. His presence is everywhere. So he's omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipotent. Um, so, okay, and this scripture that we're using here, for they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So you choose to be respectful of God, don't you? Fear, in the book of Proverbs, is, is respect. Uh, you know, uh, fear is the beginning of knowledge with the Lord. Uh, you know, that's, that's the beginning of knowledge. Um, and to fear the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And, but they hated knowledge. So how do I hate knowledge? I don't think I go around saying, I hate knowledge, I hate knowledge. I hate learning. I hate learning. I hate learning. I don't learn anymore. I don't, I don't think you do that. I think you just have a, an attitude or a spirit that any time someone is getting to a knowledge level and they left the trivial and they're getting to where they're trying to get you to understand a basic concept, a foundation, a principle, that your spirit turns them off. You back away from them. Turn that little screw up there. Turn that little screw up there. You adjust it. You know, it's like a remote on a television set. Too loud. I'll, I'll tune you out. I'll put you on mute. Uh, and, and we do that with our minds. So, uh, you know, that's why sometimes we don't get the knowledge that would make us aware of the fear of the Lord. Knowledge is understanding the mystery of God, the kingdom of God, the mystery of godliness, and the mystery of Babylon. Three mysteries. Okay, you can, this is a teaching, so anytime that I say something that you want me to uh, enlarge on, or you want to ask a question, or make a comment, you're welcome to do so, you know, in the class. Um, then another scripture in uh, Hosea 4, 1 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So lack of knowledge destroys a people. It will destroy a church. It will destroy a ministry. It will destroy a relationship between God and you. And then there is in 2 Timothy 3 and 7 Is that like stagnation? And 8. Uh, yes. Uh, and you mean in the sense of lack of knowledge? <clears throat> that, is, that is stagnation. Stagnation. You know my little saying on that, don't you? Stagnation is the last nation that you get off. <laughs> Where you go to the station of damnation, stagnation. You stop learning. You stop receiving. And the next station is damnation. So when a person stops learning, we, we use that saying, you're never too old to learn. Well, some people are. That isn't true of everybody. They do reach a point where they don't learn anymore. They don't, they're not open for learning. I hope I'm not in that category, I don't want to be. I want to learn. I'm even hungry now to 
to know more about. I would trade